How to Calculate Square Footage of a Room Looking to buy a cork flooring? At Forna Cork Flooring, we are here to help. One of the first steps towards purchasing your flooring is measuring the square footage of your floor or room. Depending on the layout of your space, use the following method to calculate the square footage of the room you are wanting to install your flooring in. The base equation is the length of your room multiplied by the width of your room, or length times width. It's not complicated at all, but it can seem tricky when your room isn't a perfect rectangle. We will walk you through a couple of room scenarios and describe the process of calculating the square footage of each. To start, you will need a tape measure, calculator, notepad, and pen, pencil, or a device to record your measurements. Next, follow the steps that apply to your room layout. Number one, how to measure and calculate the square footage of a simple rectangular room. Calculating square footage of a rectangular room is quite easy. To calculate the square footage, multiply the length of the room by the width of the room. You will measure this from the inside of the room. For example, if your length is 20 feet and your width is 10 feet, then you would multiply 20 feet times 10 feet. Length in feet times width in feet equals square footage. For example, 20 feet times 10 feet equals 200 square feet. If you have a measurement that falls in 20 feet by 3 inches combination, you can easily round it up. So you'd have 20 feet by 6 inches, or 20 and a half feet, for easier estimation. Number 2. How to measure and calculate the square footage of an odd-shaped room. It is not uncommon to deal with a room that may have an open or large floor plan with several closets, nooks, built-ins, or odd-shaped spaces. Don't stress. The solution is an easy one, too. All you need to do is divide your space into even shapes, squares, or rectangles, and be able to use the simple calculation formula of length multiplied by width. After you are done with this step, the only thing to do is to add all individual spaces you just calculated together. Separate the room into squares or rectangles, such as area 1, area 2, and area 3. Measure each rectangle or square area separately. Calculate the square footage of each space by multiplying length by width. Area 1, A length times B width equals area 1 square footage. Area 2, A length times B width equals area 2 square footage. And area 3, A length times B width equals area 3 square footage. Add the calculations of each space to equal a total square footage. The formula would be area 1 square footage plus area 2 square footage plus area 3 square footage equals total square footage of the room. Don't forget to add the waste factor. When buying new floors, don't forget to add the waste factor. You will want to add 5% to 15% extra to your total square footage to account for waste during the installation process, such as errors, damage, or extra cuts. You don't want to end up in the middle of the installation a few boxes short. Calculating waste is also an easy two-step equation. To calculate for 5% to 15% waste, Calculate the waste amount with the following equation. Total room square footage times percent equals waste amount. Add the waste amount to your total room square footage to find the final amount of flooring you need to purchase. Waste amount plus total room square footage equals final square footage. For example, 200 square feet times 5% equals 10 square feet. 200 square feet plus 10 square feet equals 210 square feet. Or, 200 square feet times 15% equals 30 square feet. 200 square feet plus 30 square feet equals 230 square feet. Yes, it's as easy as 1, 2, 3. Get measuring today and visit our site for a look at our Forna Cork Flooring.